I just want to talk. Please call me back. Love you. No wonder he doesn't call back. You've left the same message three times a day since. Well, since I sent him packing. I know I could have handled things better, but I'm doing everything I can to make this right. Yeah, but you're not going to solve anything by stalking him, are you? Uh, yeah, uh, Marlon, meat delivery is missing. Yeah, I'll drop it off now. Uh, Chasm had his wedding present. What do we do? Keep hold of it. They, they will get married. You know, once this is all blown over. You know, I look at your family. One crisis after another, and you all pull together. I mean, Chas and Paddy, what they are going through. I lose two children and then drive another one away. Hey. We will get through this. All right, so my... Catch you later. All right. I mean, whatever I say to her, it's going to be wrong. Now, Hannah, she's my wee girl. This Matty is a stranger. Right, he'll have got your messages. <sighs> he'll call you when he's ready. Well, where's my phone? I must have left it in the van. It's on the table at home. You left it there? I thought you could do with a break from it. All you've done for the last couple of weeks is stir it every five minutes. She's called and I've missed it. Two hours without your mobile and guess what? You survived. Hello? Yes, that's me. Yes? Y yeah, I'll get there as soon as I can. Thank you. What's up? He's in hospital in Leeds. Head injuries. He was assaulted in the early hours of the morning, brought in unconscious. I'll drive. Come on. We'll try and keep you as comfortable as possible. <gasps> Although, I wouldn't go entering any kickboxing tournaments anytime soon. <laughs> I better clear my diary, eh? <laughs> what happened? Are you OK? I'm sorry, I didn't know which port you were in. And you are? I'm her mum. The mum. Uh, I'm, I'm the mum. Hey. Who did this to you? What do you care? You disowned me, remember? That's exactly true. Your son did take quite a knock to his head, so we're going to keep him in overnight, just as a precaution, to keep him under observation. Right. I told him not to bother phoning you. That you wouldn't come. Why would you say that? I have been calling you, leaving you messages. I deleted them. You made it pretty clear that I was dead to you. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, pull up a seat, mate. I'll be bringing popcorn in for you in a minute. See, they haven't knocked any sense into you, then. Shame. <laughs>